Yo, yo, zealots. Welcome to the NTR, a little uh, video segment where I rant about prevalent and non-prevalent gaming topics in the gaming sphere, the gaming globe. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You fucking know, because I'm spewing nonsense. Today, I want to talk about something that's been plaguing my mind for the past 30 minutes when I was in the shower, and that is is mascot horror uh, an oversaturated genre? And my answer to that is yes, but so is all oh, horror. <laughs> all horror genre and themes are oversaturated. I saw this come up uh, on Twitter, not a real place by the way. I wanted to talk about this because a lot of people seem to think that mascot horror is uniquely oversaturated when all horror is. <laughs> there are hundreds and thousands of found footage games that exist online. There are hundreds of underwater horror games. There are hundreds of horror games that take place in schools. There's hundreds of horror games that take place in mental hospitals. There are hundreds of games that are subversions of horror where it's, it's actually a horror game despite looking cute. Tons of those exist. Horror in general is oversaturated, but that's because horror chases trends. All media does, but horror does this very, very hard. When something ver works really, really well in horror, all other horror games will follow suit and they will chase that. They want that bag. After FNAF came out, tons of other horror games do copy the FNAF for formula. After Overwatch, not over, I just said fucking Overwatch, Outlast came out. Tons of fucking games copied the fucking found footage Outlast style. After fucking uh, Cry of Fear came out, Tons of games copied Cry of Fear style. It happens every time a popular horror game comes out and becomes super, super successful. There will be hundreds of people who take inspiration and or straight up copy that game. It's gonna happen, no matter what. Media in general traces, I keep saying traces, chases trends. Oh my God, excuse me for being fucking uh, illiterate. <laughs> but. That's, that's just what I wanted to talk about. It's it's going to happen. Horror is always going to chase trends. Mascot horror will eventually fall out of favor uh, and something else will replace it. Maybe it's found footage. Maybe more The Last of Phobia games come out. Uh, maybe something else. Who knows? It will fall out of public favor, but eventually it will work its way back in for however long and then fall back out. It just matters about when the next person makes a really good game on the topic. That's usually when ha trends happen. Somebody may has a really good idea about a certain topic or genre of horror and they make a game about it and it becomes popular and then tons of people make games on it and become super super uh, big trend. And that's all it is. That's all I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I just saw this discussion online and thought it was super, super interesting. I, I wasn't really big into stuff like Jeff the Killer or The Rake or Eilish Jack or Smile Dog or any of the kind of stuff like that. But I know people are, and I'm happy you have found a piece of horror that you like. More people need to get into horror. I love horror with all my heart. I love playing horror games. I'm playing horror games uh, <laughs> from recording this tomorrow and then more probably throughout the week. So I never stop looking for horror games to play. I have tons on the backlog. I love horror. This is not a diss at horror. This is not a diss at specific horror. Uh, I'm just wanted to talk about uh, a topic that I found that was very, very interesting on horror. Thank you for listening. If you did, uh, these are always just going to be little short segments and rants and stuff like that. Uh, but I appreciate that it that you liked it. If you listened and you've gotten this far, uh, consider uh, leave, leaving a like or a comment that that always helps the YouTube algorithm. And I need the algorithm to fucking like me. Uh, but if you don't, that's, that's fine. That's fine as well. But thank you for stopping by. I love you all. Kissy kissy. And have a good day. Bye bye.